Hi, we're here to present Increased Learning for All, a universal design perspective on co-creation with students. The presentation of this study is done by me, Karina Göransson, and my colleague Monica Ölin, and we both work at Mid-Sweden University, the Department of Design and the Department of Health Sciences. Having an inclusive perspective, the purpose is to explore how a universal design perspective and co-creation with learners could be the basis for increased learning and active student engagement and participation in curriculum design. In this way, social sustainable deve development is integrated into course design uh, through designing in co-creation with the students. Research shows that students are increasingly active when being included. Therefore, co-creation and interaction are essential for increased student learning. Inclusion in course design is an important factor to offer students support in forms of inclusion when it comes to learning in digital environments like course platforms. At Mid-Sweden University, different projects are exemplifying this trend in, for example, BLAD, which is needs-driven learning through adapted participation, which is about developing forms of lifelong learning and distribution of skills development adapted to the requirements and needs that societal and technological development places on public organizations. Regarding active student participation, an inclusive teaching environment is important in order to facilitate facilitate deep and transformative leading uh, learning and to increase student engagement. In an exploration of co-creation with learners from a universal design perspective, it is essential to integrate norm critical approach, which stands for diversity thinking in order to achieve social development. With equality and focus patterns of norm deviation are increasingly are increasingly challenged. Learning is created in co-creation co with a target group instead of only with the perspective of the expert, the teacher. Students can become agents of change. Students should be involved in co-creation because then they have an understanding of the requirements of learning from a student perspective. Universal design principles could be used as a tool in designing a course or a course platform. In universal design, keywords are flexibility, proactivity and intersectionality. The seven principles of universal design were developed in the 1990s by architect Roland Mays at North Carolina State University and can be used for educational purposes. These seven requirements establish the principles of universal design. The first one is equivalent use, and that is uh, the design is useful and marketable for people abilities. And the second one, equivalent uh, flexibility in use. The design allows for a wide variety of personal preferences and abilities. And the third one, simple as intuitive use, uh, which means the use must be easy to understand regardless of the user's experience, knowledge, language skills or current level or concentration. The fourth principle is comprehensible information, which means that the design communicates the necessary information to the user in an effective way, regardless of the surrounding conditions of the user's sensory abilities. Number five is about tolerance for mistakes. The design minimizes risks and serious consequences of mistakes um, or inadvertent actions. Number six is low physical exertion. 
the design can be used efficiently and comfortably with minimal fatigue. And the last principle, number seven, is size and space for access and use, which is about design is appropriately sized and spaced so it can be reached, handled and used regardless of the user's body size, posture or mobility. The material used in this study were statistic, statistic assignments and manuals for students. The example shows a manual in original where you can see the text heavy material. In other words, before the MPF students had given their feedback. A class of, of five students with MPF were interviewed about the content in a content analysis. In the findings, we will show you examples of the design afterwards. The prelim preliminary results show that a universal design perspective could have a positive effect on active student participation in curriculum design and a learning experience more open, inclusive and equitable. This study arises the importance of adding a universal design perspective in designing curriculum assignments and platforms. For example, by visualizing more, not using text-based solutions only, the course design will become more inclusive. The starting point when co-creating with, with learners should be the students who have the most difficulties. If a course design works for those with special needs and educational support, it should work for everyone. There are some important steps in the process. The first one is to identify the users and the context. The second step is to analyze, understand and describe the user needs. And the third step is to produce design solutions from a universal design perspective. The contribution of this study is knowledge in how to use universal design perspective in course design together with the students to design sustainable course design approaches that work for everyone in different higher education contexts. There is a need to further, further develop course design to create the best opportunities for student learning, also regarding their expectations of future learning environments. Thank you for listening. You are welcome to contact us if you have any further questions. And in this last slide, you can see the references in our study. Thank you.